what's good you guys it's me the Charles Y just making this video um, about as you can see Apple watch anyways into the video um, subject subject to this video is Apple watch time travel well it's not it's not really time travel um, but it kind of is at the same time but there's a uh, change mechanics um, Apple Apple took the the time travel out, so it sucks. Now we can't. But um, then again, we can. Here we go. Um, this is the the background you want to be in. Let me just unlock it. Ah, oh, dang it! No, no. What the heck? All right. Then, um, because Apple took time travel off, like for example, like this, you were able to turn the crown, but see how it's not doing it anymore. So to fix that, you go here, and then we'll let you do that. See, you go up. See how it says one hour and two hours. You can measure today. You can measure today. But if you go all the way to like let's say uh, the other day, like let's say you go to the next day. I mean, my bad. Go to the next day. It will say one day. You could do the next day. Let's see. And I'll say two days, right? That's the only that's the only limitation you can go past. You know, you can only measure today. That's what I meant. For see, I'll do it one more time. Um and see I need to do something at five thirty and then you can measure, you know, for hours. And but it won't be it won't be precise, you know, not like the old time travel. So again, if you go up, do twelve twelve o'clock next day. Let's uh, see, it will say one day. You go again, it will say two days. So you can only measure today. So anyways, this is just this is just the video showing you how the um time travel works with with one exception except no, with one um limitation so anyways all right you guys talk to you later